Hello and welcome to the Enderati studio. I'm Rose Bundock, Head of Commercial Content. I'm joined now by Matthias Finger, Professor at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Welcome. My pleasure. We are going to talk smart cities for the next five minutes. Um, we are seeing lists of smart cities, rankings. Are cities truly smart or is it, uh, is it hype? A lot of hype. Uh, actually, my speech here is hype or reality, and there, the answer is it is hype and reality. But there is a lot of hype because the cities want to promote themselves. There's a competition internationally for cities to promote themselves, and smart is a way to promote themselves. There are a lot of vendors who want to promote their technologies, rightfully so, but I mean, they need to, but, uh, they, to show what they can do. But then there's also a reality, and the reality is that uh, in innov innovation, uh, information, communication technologies are really built into transport, into energy, into water, into waste, into the basic, into government services, but in a very piecemeal fashion. I think that the, the next challenge is to integrate all this into a really smart city that doesn't have you know, most of these smart cities, they offer, you know, some smart street lighting or smart parking or smart something. And they're all good, but they're not integrated into a, a really coherent smart city. Just thinking about energy. Yeah. Uh, what potential is there for that to be integrated? Into oh, I think there's a lot of potential. I mean, there's first a lot of potential for energy with smart meters, demand side management, uh, you know, a more efficient consumption, uh, all the all the management of the peaks and all that. I think there's a huge, a huge potential, uh, and some of it is being done at part of the city level or in some buildings. Uh, but once you can combine that with transport, for example, and electric vehicles, and you know, storage and all these things, then the potential really becomes huge. But that's not being done yet. What's missing? Is it technology? Is it policy? No, it's not really technology. I think, I mean, of course, we need to develop all these, but that's done very, very fast at a very rapid pace. Uh, I think it's more governance in the sense that the different silos need to talk to each other uh, in the government, but also the companies are specialized. You know, they have to have a more integrated. I see all the companies want to do everything. You know, the energy companies want to do telecom, the telecom companies want to do energy or transport, but, you know, it takes some experience to, to do that. And then the same thing on the city level where you have all these silos. And then I think the biggest problem is that the political city does not correspond to what the city really is. It's a big metropolitan area with various governance mechanisms. And that's, I think, the big challenge. We're in Istanbul. What is the potential for smart city technology development services here? I think Istanbul and many of the big Turkish cities actually have a competitive advantage over most of the cities in the world because metropolitan governance has already progressed. This is one of the very rare cities and very rare countries where we actually have a metropolitan government not just you know a set of governments having to work together so the potential here is istanbul or ankara or any other of the big turkish cities can actually move faster than most of the other cities in the world that have these governance problems the technology is there uh, maybe it's a little bit uh, the demand that uh, the demand is not ready in certain sectors like energy. It's certainly ready in transport where you know the problems are so huge and the new technologies can offer so many new solutions. So EVs obviously on the horizon uh, for most of Europe. Will that be a vector for change in, in driving the smart city towards reality? No, I don't think EVs will be the driver of the change. I think uh, they will be a consequence of the, the will to manage energy more efficiently and the will to manage mobility more efficiently and EVs will sort of be at the crossroads of both. But I don't think they drive the process. They will rather respond to the process. On that note, we'll leave it. Thank you so much, Matthias. Um, you can watch more videos on the Enderati YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.